Let us crack on, Leo. Wednesday's Mail, your Irish namesake, has offered an olive branch to Rishi Sunak, although I'll tell you what, I bet it wasn't a domestically grown olive branch. <laughs> no, I don't, think I, they, I don't think they grow in Ireland, to be <laughs> I don't honest. think so. Uh, but yeah, Rishi Sunak today welcomed the words from uh, Irish Prime Minister Taoiseach Leo Varadkar uh, that post-Brexit trade rules for Northern Ireland were a little bit too strict. I think this is mm. something everybody knew. Uh, the EU is kind of, kind of punishing, you know, it's imposing these stringent rules, yep. uh, punishing the UK for, for leaving the, the EU. And also they wanted to send a signal to other countries in the EU. You know, if you leave the EU, we can, we can make things difficult for you. Yeah. Uh, but now that, you know, it's been seven years, things have calmed down a bit, everybody's really, really bored of Brexit and all the sort of shenanigans around it. They've, uh, you know, they've backed off a bit. And the UK's not seen as this pariah state anymore since we, we sort of led the response on, uh, on Ukraine. Ukraine. We even did um, well in the Eurovision Song Finals. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's what did it. That's I the main thing, that was the great it? thought, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> I think Varadkar has seen the way the wind is blowing <laughs> yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. Well, that's it. I don't know. I, I really, of all the things that came out of Brexit, I have to say the Northern Irish Protocol, the, the border in the sea and all the rest, that was the, the bit that just makes my head, so I never yeah. managed to get but my think, head around it. I don't know what it's like on the ground, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't either. But I, but I do think this story is, because it's a Prime Minister who, who's backtracking a little bit, but nicely, and, and yeah. he's talking compromise and saying we were too harsh before, and he's saying I was listening to both, I've been listening to both sides now, and we have to find a way through this. And actually, compared to everything else in the news, this is the heartwarming story it of is. the year. It's like nowadays, this is, honestly, I'm yeah. glowing, the humanity of it. Yeah. Hmm. It's a story of compromise nowadays, really. <laughs> I think we should probably Feel leave good. it there before we poison it with our... Uh, our <laughs> with, with our cynicism <laughs> that's coming. Yeah. <laughs>